Hello, my name is Cindy and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. If this, this is your first time to my channel, please consider this a welcome. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. So I am in a 14 day teacher, virtual teacher challenge, and I am on day 11. And for this day, we are going to talk about difficulties that I had to overcome as a teacher. Okay, so <laughs> sometimes on these, I watch other people's videos and I'm like, oh, that's such a good thing. You know, I didn't even think of that. But when it's my turn, I kind of think about the first thing that popped into my mind. So I have homeschooled for many years. First, I, I did teach when I was younger before I had kids. The very first year I taught in a big school, um, I actually had been married for two years, but I got a teaching job my third year, and I also got pregnant that year. And so you might know where I'm going with this. <laughs> and uh, so that was a challenging year, but then I homeschooled for many years, and the last few years that I have been in person have been a little bit of challenge for me was the schedule. The first year I went back after homeschooling for like 15 years, I had a combination class, first, second, third grade, and it was a very small uh, group of people teaching. Like you had to stay in that class the whole time. I didn't have a helper, I didn't have a teacher's aide or a parent helper or anything. So I was busy all day long. I did have a teacher right next door to me so that if I needed anything, you know, she could kind of watch my class or I could watch her class. And I only had 13 kids, okay? So in Christian schools, a lot of times you have smaller class sizes, so that's good. But the first year back, into the classroom, I really didn't think about it until it actually happened. And that was, what do you do if you have to rush to the restroom? <laughs> a lot of classes have a bathroom like right close by. Well, the first cl uh, classroom that I taught in, you had to go down this pretty long hallway and into the bathroom there. And it was kind of a small bathroom. Uh, sometimes it was occupied. And then the next school I went to, actually we did have a really good bathroom situation. The, but the school I'm at now is a little challenging for the bathroom. And so it's not really where the bathroom is as much as, you know, what do you do when you have to rush to the bathroom? <laughs> How do you regulate these things? Honestly, this was the biggest challenge for me. How do you regulate these things? So I really had to be careful what I eat in the morning because certain things I would not, you know, I might have a stomach ache or I might have to rush to the bathroom or whatever. Um, I Or I would have to get up early, make things sure things are okay. Um, I would eat like the same things every day so that I wouldn't set anything off, you know? <laughs> I don't know about you, but this was a big challenge for me. And I will also talk about virtual teaching. So I taught for VIP Kid and a lot of times we would get like 25 minute classes, you get a five minute break and then you get another 25 minute class. And so you, can discipline yourself with your schedule and just make say do three classes in a row that's an hour and a half take a half hour off and then do another couple hours but the thing about it is when you're booking yourself you're opening slots and you want to open all the available slots that you can so if you end up with a break great if you don't you just do it you want to push through you you sort of it's a weird way that they book and everything, so you kind of push yourself to get through those classes. So most of the time I did okay, because my house is kind of small and I could you know, run to the bathroom within the five minutes. Sometimes I would end the class right at 25 minutes, go to the bathroom, come back and smile 
through the next 25. Or I would send a note to my family and I'd be like, don't, nobody take the bathroom at 25 after I'm coming. <laughs> so the secrets are out. This is my biggest challenge for virtual teaching and for in-person teaching. So what about you? Do you have this problem? This is my number one challenge. Uh, my number two challenge would probably be if you want to go academic. Academically, I guess one of my biggest challenges is if you have a student that really doesn't want to do their work. You know, math is not a subject that everybody loves and some people just don't want to you know do that brain work that it takes so sometimes it's hard to motivate the kids and to challenge them to do the work i do try to have them come up to the board you know try to make it fun but if you do too much within your 45 minute period or 50 minutes you know then it kind of cuts out of time where you could be sitting there practicing so juggling between trying to make the class interesting and giving them enough time to practice and getting it all done. <laughs> and so for me in math class, getting it all done in a short period of time, um, you know, some kids will go home and they'll do a little extra work. But I found that since 2020 and, you know, getting back into school and things like that, it's been a little bit of a challenge getting everybody back into just regular work and doing your work, you're doing a little bit of homework and sitting down without distractions, you know, so kids go home and they want to, oh, I've got homework, but then they have the computer, the phone and all the other things. And a lot of times kids nowadays, they have uh, extracurricular activities, so they don't have as much time to put into their academics. So, yes, I do have some academic challenges, <laughs> but as far as, you know, personal issues, yeah, <laughs> that's one of my biggest challenges in the classroom and just, you know, getting it all done, scheduling everything and smiling the whole time as well and having a good attitude. Do you ever have a hard time? keeping a good attitude. I think that's what VIP kid taught me was to keep a good attitude because we had 25 minutes and if we messed up, the parents would give us a bad review. So we had to smile, be patient, get it all done, you know, don't show any negativity. And I think that taught me a lot about real life, <laughs> you know? So sometimes we think kids would put up with our bad attitude, but if we can do it online for 25 minutes, then we need to work on having a better attitude in person too. So if you're watching this video, you know me in person and I've had a bad attitude, I apologize and I'll try to do better next time. But you know, it is something that I learned and we can't always Put on a happy face when you're in the classroom you know hour after hour but it is a goal and it is something to strive for so anyway thank you for watching this video and if you're watching this video as a fellow teacher in the challenge i'm looking forward to seeing what your challenge in the classroom is <laughs> let me know if you like this video and mention what your challenge is in the comments Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.